You know, Melissa, one of the reasons we wanted to come out here was because uh, every year um, there's an annual letter. It used to be written by Jeff Bezos for so many years, famously starting in 1997. Uh, but um, just now, uh, Amazon CEO Andy Jassy's second shareholder letter has been released. It is crossing the tape, and we want to bring you some uh, notes from it. Uh, he really reflects on what has been a challenging year for what has been a trillion-dollar company in which 27,000 corporate jobs were eliminated as part of a series of cost-cutting efforts. These are things we're going to talk to him about. Uh, Jassy says, though, he remains optimistic about Amazon and says that the company is going to emerge from this challenging macroeconomic time. And he says it's going to be a stronger position than when we entered it. And despite efforts to tighten budgets, he says Amazon is still focused on investing in the future. He reflects on 2008 as a, as a reflection of challenging times before. He says Amazon would be a different company if we'd slowed down investment in AWS, for example, during the 2008-2009 period. Change is always around the corner. Sometimes you proactively invite it in, and sometimes it just comes a knocking. He uh, does compare some key areas, though, uh, that are important here of investments in uh, what AWS did for Amazon back in 08, including uh, Kuiper. That's the uh, low Earth orbit satellite system and healthcare, uh, following that big acquisition of One Medical for nearly $4 billion. Jassy saying Amazon's also focused on further international expansion, plans to continue to invest in its grocery business and Amazon business, which is a fascinatingly big business. We're going to talk about that with him as well. And he warns, though, about the impact of the economic environment on AWS, uh, which is, of course, a business that he built personally, uh, writing the following. He writes, quote, AWS faces short-term headwinds right now as companies are being more cautious in spending given the challenging current macroeconomic conditions. And, of course, there he then ends the letter with a topic we've all been talking about virtually every day, an entire section devoted to artificial intelligence. He writes the following. He says, I could write an entire letter on large language models and generative AI, uh, which, of course, are things like ChatGPT, as I think uh, they will be that transformative and core, he says, to setting Amazon up to invent in every area of our business for decades to come. So we're going to talk about all of that and so much more. Lots to uh, kick around uh, in that letter and discuss. Uh, he does, uh, re I mean, it's, it's a remarkably op optimistic note uh, for a time which has uh, been, at least so far, pretty challenging for just about every business across the country.